writers. Today I've been working on the paper and pen edit of a manuscript, a story that I've been working on for quite a while. This is the total document and at the moment it stands at about 80,000 words. Today I've managed to edit the first seven chapters of this particular story and it's taken me a long time because in any edit process you will spot mistakes that you've made before. I'm noticing that some of the dialogue I've quoted has given to the wrong characters. Only a couple of pointers, but I've got to make it much more clear who is speaking in some of the conversations. One of the other things I've, I've spotted is that where I have gone through the manuscript on the first right, I have left little NB or Nota Bene notes and references to myself to say, check the name of this street, identify the distance between this farmhouse and the river, or how long would it take our police officer to drive from the city that he's based in to the outlying area where the crime is taking place. So I've been going through it today and making those amendments. This is my first pen and paper edit of this particular manuscript. I've added probably another 2,000 words of text to the story. I've used Google Maps to add some correct street names. One of my favourite aspects of working on a story is the time that I do the first pen and paper edit, which is what today's been about. I've gone through most of the first act. When I look at it today, this particular document shows me the names of all the characters in the story. So I've got 26 characters across the book. Half a dozen of them are, are my main characters, my characters of interest to the story. But three of the 26 characters have all got the same first name. I hadn't even noticed that in writing the book. And because five of my characters have a name that begins with the same initial, I've removed four of those and given them completely different names. And also first names that match more to their character, their place within society. And I've given one very strong name to the most negative protagonist within the story. So that his name is very markedly seen as an unusual name and that this represents a character who will have a strong role to play in the story. So pen and paper has been great today. I'm very happy with it. These are the documents I've worked through. There's a lot of ink amendment to the text that I've looked at today. In some sections I've added 50 or 60 words to opening pages. I've highlighted things that I think I've got wrong with the story, where I need to rethink my approach to how something is discovered or how a character arc is developed through a particular scene. But overall I'm very happy with it. It's been a good day, a productive day. I'm hoping that over the next three writing days, before and after the weekend, I can finish the first ink edit of the whole manuscript. Then what I shall do next week is take it to a print shop, get the whole document printed out again, and put it to one side for a few days, and then come back to it later next week to do a second ink edit, and bring in all the information that I will have researched and added to my notes between now and then. I'm really pleased with the progress that I've made today. Tomorrow what I will do is type up the amended notes so that they, I have a clean first act ready for printing. And then I'll put that to one side and work on act two early next week. I'm really pleased with today because I've got through almost all of the first act. I'm a chapter short and I can deal with that tomorrow. But I'll finish that tomorrow because it's getting late now. One of the gaps that I've, I've spotted is that in, in the way that I've created some timings of incidents in the story. In the second chapter, I've got something happening at half past 11 at night for about an hour. By the time I get to chapter six, I'm looking at CCTV footage for a completely wrong element of time because I hadn't carried the times across correctly from the second and third chapter to my chapter number six. Being able to spot those, I could make amendments in the story so that it will flow much more naturally, so that when a reader picks up the book or looks at it on their Kindle, 
they won't see any discrepancy because it will all have been resolved over two or three ink and paper edits that I will go through over the next few weeks. But I am happy with the story. I feel like I've made enormous progress um, because this is largely my act one for the story. So I'm, but I'm going to wrap it up there because I've done enough for today. I really hope that's been helpful. I've had a good day. I feel happy with the progress that's been made and I'm ready for tomorrow to get on and work through Act 2 and then to type up those notes in two days' time so that I will have my first and my second act ready for another print and my third act is waiting for me in a couple of days' time. But yeah, that's... That's my print edit of an 80,000 word novel. You can see the amount of work I've had to do on some of the pages. But as I've gone through, I've spotted, I've improved, I've made corrections as I've gone along, and it's been a good day. So I hope you've had a good day writing, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow with pen and paper, or with your device that you're gonna type on and produce documents digitally.